right, hello vlog. This is not a fun video to be making. Um, but I have some updating for you guys. Uh, so last week I was getting ready to start editing our cruise footage. I was on the phone with my dad. I plugged my SD card into my computer and everything was gone. Um, so this happened last week and I was a complete and total wreck. I had to tell my dad I'd call him back because I knew I wouldn't even be able to talk with how upset I was. I was very much crying. Yes, I was crying a lot. Um, and after like 15 minutes of realizing like this is really bad and this is two whole videos, one video that would have probably been like 25 minutes long, that's just like gone. That's things that I had like planned for the channel, so I wasn't planning other videos, so I had to have an explanation, so I immediately like whipped out the camera and started explaining stuff to you guys. Um, and I was just editing that footage, and I was really, really crying. And right off the bat, like as soon as I started filming, I was like, I'm gonna get so much hate for this. And editing it, I knew I would, and I have no interest with already like going through this. I have no interest in getting a bunch of hate comments on top of it, because I just wouldn't be able to handle that at the moment with how upset I am about the footage. So I am going to talk about it now, a week later while I can handle it. Um, whenever I first found out about it, I barely could even talk. I was crying so bad. Um, and I just knew I would absolutely get attacked with the way I was crying. So, um, I figured it would be better just to talk about it while I can, you know, handle the emotions. So this was a really, really special trip for Mike and I. It was the first cruise in two years. We were one of the first people to be back cruising on that ship since two years so that is a big big deal we'll be able to tell our kids our grandkids that like that's a huge huge deal and um it is the biggest cruise ship in the world that's also a big deal we've never been on oasis of the seas before it was a gorgeous ship by the way and uh we decided to splurge on a room because we had a trip planned um before COVID happened and all of our points and everything were still in the system obviously so they were like you might as well like spend all of your points this trip so Mike was like let's let's get a suite let's just go all in it's been two years like we deserve it and you know he has been working so hard and he just really wanted to do this so we got a suite and we splurged and it was the biggest room on the ship just a huge huge deal and we were so excited to bring you guys along and show you everything and our emotions like our raw real emotions were just so genuine and so so much fun we had so much fun on the drive there because we leave from Bayonne it's like a two-hour drive from where we live and um, we were just so excited and I was really excited to go back and look at that footage and see our excitement and everything because it's just something you can't make up you know so all of that and then us walking on the cruise for the first time in two years that was like really exciting and our reaction to the room you can't make that up we were so excited and oh my god it was just the best and um it's all gone so i looked at my camera two days before plugging it into my computer and all of the footage was there um, I even used a separate SD card the next day to film Bobby and Tress's wedding shower because um, I didn't want to even chance like something happening to the cruise footage. So I just like left that SD card go. I plugged it into my computer two days later and it was all gone and I couldn't believe what I was seeing because I had over 190 clips. I was constantly like all week long i was thinking like what's a good shot what can i do i was just really really working hard on this vlog two vlogs we did a room tour we were trying to do like a casey neistat kind of feel which we might be able to recover that footage um and that's probably it the rest is like totally gone mike has been working he worked all night a few nights ago to try and get this footage back he has like a system or whatever the best of the best, so really 
honestly, I guess there's no point in like advice at this point because we've we tried everything. He's very good at that kind of stuff. Um, but it, the SD card was like so corroded, and footage from our OBX trip with oatmeal was like going over the cruise footage. It's a disaster. So, if you film as much as Mike and I do, you have to get new SD cards every few months because they just can't handle it after a while. Because we film hours of footage, you know, I'm mean, hours on hours on hours. I ordered a new one. It's coming in the mail today, but I wish I would have had it for this cruise because, oh my god. I'm so upset that you just, you can't get that back. I keep saying to everyone, like, I could record making cookies and I can always remake those, but you cannot remake the memories of going on the first cruise in two years and having a suite that we did for the first time ever. Like, we've never splurged like this before. Just the craziest memories. We saw sharks in the wild and barracudas, and luckily I have some videos on my phone, thank God because that was so special seeing that. It was so, so cool. But just, oh my gosh, the footage that is gone, it breaks my heart. That, oh my God, I had the coolest stuff filmed for you guys, I personally think. It was probably gonna be like a 25 minute vlog. Um, the room tour should be like really simple, like seven minutes. I'm almost positive somehow that footage is like kind of okay. There's a little bit of OBX like overwriting it and I'll just edit that part out, see how it goes. I'm about to edit it right now and I think I can get a room tour together for you guys because it was just the coolest room in the whole entire world. But there is absolutely no footage of the cruise like whatsoever. It's That's totally gone. And like I said, Mike worked for hours on this. I think he, he did, definitely worked a full night trying to get it back from 9 p.m. until probably 7 a.m. Didn't go to sleep, he just sat on the couch all night and tried to get this stuff back. And then the next night he worked on it a whole night again to get this room tour footage back somehow. I don't even know where to begin on that kind of stuff so I'm so lucky that, that he does. We're really sad because it's it's a really big deal. It's, it's just memories that you cannot get back. So it's literally just living in our brains and uh, Hopefully we remember every little detail for the rest of our lives. We should because it was just one of the most incredible, crazy, just unreal trips ever. Oh my gosh. I'm really, really sad, you guys. I was so excited to share it with you all. It was just... It was the best of the best. I just wanted to do a quick little update. I figured this is a much better video because I was absolutely sobbing. <laughs> and uh, I knew people would not be nice about that. Like, there's so many worse things on this earth and going on and blah, blah, blah. And I know that. Every human has really terrible things going on. You have no idea what's going on in my life behind this camera. And I have no idea what's going on in your life. There is plenty of bad in this world. But this was just something that was so special to Mike and I. We both work really hard to do the trips that we do. That's base, That's a huge reason why we work, especially Mike. He loves to say like the reason why he like really, really works is because he just wants to travel. That's that's what he wants to do in life and that's absolutely what I want to do in life. We're, we're not into like the designer clothes brands or anything like that. We're in for the experience and the adventure and seeing the world because it is such a beautiful place that we live and uh, it's really cool exploring and seeing everything and life is so so short so all of our work goes towards traveling and our dogs that's where a lot of my money goes to is spoiling our children <laughs> I just love spoiling the dogs as much as I can um, and then also traveling is a huge huge part but I wanted to give you guys a quick update I'll stop rambling because it's same old same old I'm sad and that's all I'm gonna keep saying because I'm very sad about it and there's nothing I can do at this point so I need to just move forward and kind of get over it so yeah luckily I took a lot of videos on my phone um, I put together a quick video on Instagram because I wanted to do I wanted to have like a reel for Instagram and a TikTok. so I did take a bunch of footage on my phone but there was so much more work put into the vlog and it's just very very unfortunate that it's gone but there's nothing we can do so we're gonna move forward and whatever our next trip is we will be bringing you guys along and we're excited for that and I'm gonna have a new SD card for our next trip whatever it is um, and yeah it might be Turks and Caicos I think is our next trip Bobby and Tressa invited us on a little well I guess a big trip so that's probably our next huge trip and uh, we owe it all to Bobby and Tressa because we probably wouldn't be going if it wasn't for them like planning it and everything. So 
we're very excited piglet is barking she thinks the mailman's coming but he's absolutely not so i'm gonna wrap things up here and i'm gonna try and get this tour vlog edited and try and make a video out of it and we'll see how it goes so i guess we will be seeing you guys in the next upload bye guys